Yo, what's up guys, Anubhav here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. What, what has it been? A month since I last uploaded? Well, I'm sure you guys can already notice it. We're in a different space. A lot is happening right now and I'm sure it will pay off later to you guys as well. But for today's video, we're taking a look at 10 Android open source applications that you guys must try out. So yeah, without any further ado, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and uh, let's look at a few of these applications. In today's video, we're talking about open source Android applications. But I thought to myself, before we get right to the applications, why not talk a little bit about what open source applications are. Open source applications, guys, as the name suggests, are applications where the source code is open. So you and I, or literally anybody, can see how the application was made and gain access to those resources. Now, one of the main reasons why you would want to download open source apps on your phone is because number one, they're transparent. So you can make sure that there's nothing fishy going on. And number two, mostly they are ad free and they you know do what they are supposed to do really, really well. And they also have a lot of downloads and a lot of trust built on them. And uh, yeah, I hope that could explain open source application for you guys. And uh, with that being said, let's just jump right into the applications and we'll take it from there. All right, guys. So the first application on the list goes by the name of Amaze File Manager. And, you know, other than being an app that is completely ad free and, you know, has no sort of ads whatsoever, which is what I really like in a third party file managing application. One of the good things about this one is just how clean and minimal the design is. Now, of course, a file manager, other than being clean and minimal, also needs to do a lot of other things to be productive vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, you know, be good at extracting different files, be good at basically all your file management needs so that you can move files from one folder to the other and this application has all of that and more so you've also got a lot of FTP server support you have a separate section for APKs for videos for audio you can click on the plus button create a new cloud connection a new file a folder uh, these services are never-ending and uh, you know just because the fact that this application does what it says in a really good way and also because it's free I think it's one of the best file managers that you can ever download on your phone so Amaze File Manager, first open source application I would highly recommend, be sure to check it out. With that said guys, the next application on the list goes by the name of Firefox and of course you guys know about Firefox, it's a completely open source browser application and Firefox for Android is actually something that I haven't used before so this is my first time opening up the app so I have good hopes for it but let's see how it turns out. We're going to select the dark theme over here of course, we're going to select the top toolbar and uh, we're good to go. Just hit on start browsing and you're ready to go. You can go to any website you want, it's got uh, the default you know normal website options that you would but you know if you're a firefox user on your computer uh, the cross compatibility might uh, make you want to switch to firefox on your phone but other than that it's a great you know browsing application on your phone completely ad free and of course you know it's open source so there's not a lot of tracking going on there as well so it's something it's a browser that you can basically trust so be sure to check that out as well right, now is the time to talk a little bit about the sponsors for today's video which is app my site now I've spoken about them before but in case you guys uh, did not uh, you know hear about them before from me app my site is basically a great application to convert your existing website into an Android or iOS application. The process is super simple and you know you can head to the link in the description uh, to their website and check it out over there for the first time. It is really really simple and I would highly recommend anybody and everybody to keep using it. Uh, it's super simple, you basically complete a couple of steps and then you can also test out your Android application on your phone itself and the way that it works is completely seamless and I really think it's something that business owners as well as people who have e-commerce websites should look into in case you need an easy resource to turn your existing website into an application, test it out and then launch it on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Be sure to check it out. All right, continuing our train of open source Android applications, we have KeePass 2, which is basically a great password manager for your Android phone that hooks up with KeePass on your Windows devices as well, if you're a user of that. Even if you're not, I would recommend, uh, you know, just using uh, this application on your phone itself to save your passwords. Uh, personally, I use Dashlane, but I've been using that for a long time, which is why I'm not switching. But this is a great free alternative to an application which basically does the same thing, has no ads because it's open source and yeah, does what it says. So you can open up KeePass, you can set a master password, uh, you can obviously go to different sections of uh, the application and add different passwords. You can add your email, your ID card, 
membership, credit card, etc. etc. It's super simple and uh, yeah, I would recommend it to anybody who's looking for a good password manager uh, to have here on your phone. So definitely be sure to check that out. Moving on guys, we have the Kodi Media Center. Now if you haven't used Kodi before or you don't know what it is, it's basically an award-winning media center where you can you know watch content all over the internet basically you can connect all your YouTube all the uh, you know the streaming services that you use you can browse content that is locally stored on your device and it just does a great job of bringing all your content to one place now this is also completely ad free and open source and therefore the application is completely free itself and you can download it and start using it right away now because this is the official version of Kodi so there are not a lot of uh, you know there's basically no content here so you have to connect either your content uh, from a directory which is inside your storage or you have to connect you know these free plugins basically these are add-ons uh, for example I have adult swim plugged in here you can select this and uh, you can select from any of the free content that is available and you can view it from here so I feel like in my opinion this is a great way uh, to watch a lot of content on your phone and you know find different sorts of videos and uh, just enjoy watching content on your phone a great free app to do that definitely check Kodi out from the description below all right continuing the train of open source applications we have finally a launcher which is also ironically called launcher 2 so launcher 2 once again completely free and open source if you haven't used it before it's a very neat and clean Android home screen replacement. Now, I am personally a Nova person, but Launcher also has, you know, been my choice of launcher in between for a lot of months and probably even a year. It's very clean, it's very minimal. You've got all the settings that you would want in a custom launcher, but it also doesn't take up a lot of space, is not very flashy, it's very, very simple. And uh, yeah, it's just a no nonsense launcher. If you want to use something like this uh, and, you know, change up your current home screen setup with a different launcher, but you still still like the clean material design look, I think Launcher is the way to go. Be sure to check it out. Alright, next up we probably have the most open source application to exist ever uh, given that the name is also Open Camera. Now Open Camera is a great open source camera application that lets you basically do everything that's possible with your camera. The app UI, the UI of the application is pretty dated but that is because it's literally been around forever, I think more than six, seven years now. But that doesn't stop it from being a great application. For example, you can click a photo of any anything you want and you can also switch between modes, head up to settings, change different sorts of video settings like your resolution, the codec that you'll be shooting at, uh, you know, play with a whole bunch of manual settings. So in case you're using an Android phone and you don't like the stock camera app or more importantly, if your stock camera app doesn't allow you uh, to use a lot of manual controls and you really want to do that, Open Camera is a teeny tiny small application that will let you unlock your camera's full potential and is also going to be super light on your phone so it's going to not take up a lot of memory. Be sure to check it out. All right, guys, next up we have Orbot for Tor, and this is basically a free proxy application that truly lets you browse the internet, you know, without having the idea in your head about losing your privacy or somebody tracking you. Now, the way Tor works, or Orbot more importantly, works is basically it connects to Tor, which basically, you know, sets up a lot of proxies and bounces your uh, network and IP address and everything. It's, it's very complicated if you want to know the exact how it works. Basically, what you need to know is you download the application you hit on the start button you let it do its thing and then you can browse the internet in peace nobody's gonna be tracking your data because it does a lot of bouncing back among different networks across different computers around the world so it truly is private nobody can know where uh, the data that you're accessing their websites that you're accessing where this person is accessing it from so it's a great way to browse the internet in peace especially since you know nowadays so many leaks have been happening so many accounts get hacked every single day this is something that you should use as a precaution and of course because it's open source it also does not have ads the UI is super simple you open the app up you click on the onion it hits it becomes green and then you just start browsing the internet in peace be sure to check it out next up guys we have awesome and which is basically a great navigating or navigation application for anybody who has the requirement for using offline maps now whenever you open up the app uh, 
uh, don't be alarmed by the old sort of UI the application actually is very very capable even in 2022 you can browse across different categories uh, the main reason I have seen this application being used is to uh, you know use it as a trekking guide or as a cycling guide when you're going to areas where you won't really have a stable internet connection so you won't be able to use Google Maps of course it's not for every scenario because some of the application is pretty buggy but the best part in my opinion is that you can just download offline maps of your area and once you hit on the download button that option gets greened out in the map and you can just have lifetime offline access to it so that if you're there and if you run out of data or if you run out of network you still know where you are and you can navigate your way to safety probably definitely check it out link below at the second last application on the list we have something called qk SMS, which is basically, you know, an amazing material design uh, sort of messaging application, which really brings back the old glorious Android material design days where, you know, you had all these nice colors and every application just looked so damn good. So, of course, you can select from a host of different theme. Uh, you can put it to pure black night mode or you can put it to, uh, you know, sort of a day mode and I really really like it. I think it's a great SMS application. If you're still one of those few people who use text messaging and not like online applications, it's got a great UI. It's super simple, no ads, no nonsense, just pure messaging in material design glory. Check it out if you're a nerd and yeah, the link will be below. Last but not the least guys, we've got VLC Media Player and I do not know what I need to tell you about this because I'm 100% sure that you've probably heard of this application before. But yeah, VLC is just one of the greatest media players to have existed, not just on your phone, but on your computer and it supports a wide variety of codecs. So if you're worried that your phone or your computer won't be able to, you know, open or play a certain video type, which was, you know, encoded in like a very different format, I think VLC supports uh, the largest amount of codecs and you can just open up whatever you want to. It's also got a built-in streamer and uh, yeah, it's a great open source way to enjoy the content on your phone uh, with a video player. Definitely check it out. And uh, well guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I know I haven't been the, uh, the I know I haven't been the most consistent guy lately. But, uh, you know, I've been shifting a lot. I've been moving around a lot. Got a new camera, by the way. If you notice the quality difference, let me know in the comments below. This is the glorious Alpha 7 IV. And I would, like to, I would love to make a video about it, probably in the future, if you guys are interested. Yeah, until then, be sure to check out at my site. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Until then, you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Peace out.